Here we are at the completed International Space Station. It is indeed a beautiful and lovely uh, laboratory work environment uh, with its uh, power and cooling arrays uh, deployed. Uh, this is Atlantis docked for its final mission on the International Space Station. Mike Fossum will be gressing the airlock first, wearing the red stripes, and uh, Ron Guerin uh, will be EV-2 for the EVA. Here's the location of the two Colt tools on the back of the LAPA, or that uh, pallet that the pump module is installed on. While Mike is working on uh, installing the Colt tools, Ron will be uh, installing the foot restraint onto the robotic arm and then ingressing that foot restraint and getting into position to hold on to the handrails that are on the uh, pallet portion of the pump module assembly. Uh, Mike will come over and drive the primary bolt to release it. You can see here in the NBL uh, the relative size of um, the uh, pump module assembly relative to the crew member. Ron will move uh, on the arm out over the starboard just a little bit over the other ORUs that are on the ESP2 and then rotate it around to begin getting it into position where it can be docked down into the payload bay. Mike packs up his tool bag and heads down uh, show, uh, to the payload bay uh, following the path shown flashing here in blue. You'll notice it's kind of a tight translation path between the GEM module and the MPLM that's docked for the mission. He'll maneuver down into the payload bay, translating to the aft of the payload bay. Uh, while Ron comes on the uh, robotic arm down into position carrying the pump module. You can see that it is very close to the aft bulkhead of the payload bay, especially here in the NBL video. So Mike will be keeping a close eye out to make sure that uh, it's settling nicely in the back uh, near the aft bulkhead and down onto the adapter plate that's on the cross bay carrier of the payload bay. Once they complete um, installing the um, pump module into the payload bay, they'll make a quick check to make sure that all of the multi-layer insulation on the pump module is in good configuration. Ron will egress the arm and Mike will get on and then maneuver down into the bottom of the payload bay to retrieve the RRM payload from underneath the cross bay carrier. Here you can see it at uh, Kennedy Space Center during processing. You can see that it has all types of interfaces and tools on the payload uh, to demonstrate uh, various types of servicing once it gets uh, out to its final location on the space station. From the payload bay back over to the lab nader where the Dexter arm is waiting to uh, receive the uh, RRM. Uh, during the stage, the Dexter arm, uh, Dexter uh, and the space station robot arm will take that uh, payload out to its final location. Mike will uh, fly on the uh, robot arm with Sandy and Doug driving the arm back over to the ESP2 where he can clean up the arm, putting the foot restraint back onto the ESP2, uh, removing the uh, 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 worksite adapter for the foot restraint, and then cleaning up uh, any other uh, tools that they may have left on the uh, ESP2 as well as reinstalling the gap spanner. While he's cleaning up the uh, SSRMS, Ron will be making his way back to the airlock, uh, trading out uh, one tool bag for another and picking up the uh, Ormate tool bag. That uh, uh, tool bag also contains a camera that they'll be using to stow his crew lock bag and then get in position to install the Ormate uh, experiment package and then uh, take photos of the material samples that are on the payload itself. Here's a photo showing you all of the small little materials exposure samples. Uh, all of those uh, experiments will be used on future satellite applications as well as in exploration. Uh, the connectors, the power and data connectors from the robot arm move down and, and mate with connectors behind this little door. With that wire in the way, we're concerned about uh, potentially um, uh, the door being stuck and, and um, causing difficulties for the robot arm. So we'll, we want to clear that out of the way. If we can show the video, I'll show you how we plan to do that.